We're learning new details tonight about the murder of an RIT grad turned police officer in Alaska. We found out his mother had a dream that her son, she saw her son killed while on the job. This weekend, that nightmare came true. Officer Anthony Wallace was shot and killed while on duty in an unprovoked attack in Huna, Alaska. His partner was also killed and Wallace's mother saw it all happen. New at 11, I spoke with Wallace's best friend tonight. I just, I just kept saying no, no, no. Jamie Brothers still can't believe Tony Wallace is dead. The two met when Wallace was an RIT public safety officer. She fell in love with this guy. Here I am, but I'm all American. The legally deaf RIT wrestler who left his legacy in Rochester. The two dated, but later became best friends. Law enforcement was his dream. He ate, slept, dreamt it. It was the only thing he ever wanted in life, and he was, and he died doing what he loved to do. Jamie got the call early Sunday morning. Tony had been shot while on duty, along with his partner, Officer Matt Takoka. At the time, Tony's mother, Debbie Green, was visiting him in Alaska for the very first time. She witnessed her only son's murder. She said she can't eat, she can't sleep. She said every time she closes her eyes, she sees it happening over and over because she was there. And her worst nightmare came true. At RIT, Tony was known as a tough competitor, a fighter, and even in death, fought it till the end. He never gave up, not once. He fought, and he wanted to live. Tony was a real tiger at RIT. He built a legacy here as, a, as an individual. Um, as an athlete, he was um, really second to none. He was inducted into the RIT Athletic Hall of Fame in 2008 and was well known and respected among the NTID community. He went to Alaska to be an officer. That's unheard of when you're deaf, and he made that happen. He loved life, and there was nothing that he left this earth without doing. Um, he just, he lived life. After a three-day standoff, the suspect, John Marvin Jr., gave himself up to police today. We found out he was arrested for attacking these same officers a year ago. Brother says Marvin had resisted arrest and they had to taser him. She says Marvin had been bitter ever since, but does not know if that was a motive in the murders.